Hello, welcome to this again. So you remember React OS? I've made a couple videos on it already. Basically, it's just an operating system that aims to be 100% compatible with Microsoft Windows. And because the entire dev team is comprised of volunteers and also the way they're, you know, developing this, it's taking a very long time to get to the point where it is right now, which is somewhat compatible with up to Windows XP. And it only sometimes installs on computers. No disrespect to the devs, by the way. It's an amazing thing that they're doing right here. But so I was doing some research on it and I came across a build that was built for the original Xbox, which I assume was mainly only possible because the original Xbox is basically just a PC. But yeah, I think it'd be really fun to have React OS running on an Xbox. Just seems kind of funny. So uh, step one is to get an original Xbox. Cool. Unsurprisingly, step two is to uh, mod the thing, which uh, is primarily done using a mod chip, which uh, I have absolutely zero confidence that I'd be able to do. So I bought this Xbox with a mod chip pre-installed. But there's also many different kinds of mod chips you can get for this thing. And I wouldn't really know what I'm talking about if I, you know, tried to explain it. So I'm just gonna let the person I bought this from explain it for me. If you know my videos, you know I'm a big fan of the original Xbox. So when I heard about this project, I was more than happy to help. The Xbox you see here is a 1.0, which is why it's a little noisier than most. And while it is possible to flash the TSUP directly on these models, I went all out and installed an OpenZenium mod chip for maximum ease of use and flexibility. Not quite the cutting edge of Xbox mod chips anymore, but still perfectly usable. A mod chip makes it really easy to switch between different BIOSes, and I was aware this project might involve alternate BIOSes like Cromwell, which is an open source one that the community developed specifically to boot Linux. So rather than having to constantly reflash the TSOP and risk breaking the Xbox in the process, the mod chip seemed like a much better and safer move. Anyways, that's a rundown on the Xbox, hope it all works out. Yeah, so fun fact, Matt KC was the one who, you know, modded this Xbox and then sold it to me. Very, very cool of him. I'm very thankful. All right, let me get this hooked up to a monitor and, you know, actually get started trying to install ReactOS on this thing. All right, so I've got the Xbox hooked up here, which I actually haven't tried turning on yet. So uh, I'm just going to hope it works. There is a gamepad. It's got this nice blue uh, S controller, but uh, it's not seeming to work? Did I just like not plug it in all the way or? Okay, there we go. Okay, let me launch the menu. Okay, so we have Serbios A. Cool. So, um, yeah, cool. That's a uh, real good problem. Hard drive timeout. The hard drive took too long to become ready and the Xbox is uh, complaining. You can't really see it on the camera, but it says 07 in the corner there. Okay, let me just try turning it off and turning it back on again, I guess. Okay, cool. That is, that's really fun. Okay, um... Alright, after a bit of troubleshooting with the help of Figgy, we've come to the conclusion that the, the yeah, the hard drive is actively dying. Uh, so I've got this thing that hopefully isn't actively dying, and, um, we gotta, I gotta take this thing apart now. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, four of the screws are under these foot pads, which is awesome. From what I've seen, these screws are ridiculously long, so... Oh my god! <laughs> All right, we have an Xbox. Okay, there we go. All right, the hard drive's out. Now I just gotta get this thing in. Actually, I need to format this, don't I? And like do stuff with it first. Okay, so I, I thought I had an adapter to plug this thing into a computer to format it. I don't. Uh, Amazon will be here tomorrow, so I can't really deal with this yet, but there is another problem, and that is, uh, this DVD drive just <laughs> doesn't work. It doesn't. It actually originally came with no DVD drive, but, uh, Matt just put in a broken one to have the front panel. Uh, but turns out, uh, I do actually need a DVD drive. <laughs> Cause, yeah, uh, apparently ReactOS runs on a live disc. So, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing, uh, maybe not totally fixed, but at least working-ish. You are apparently able to use any old, you know, IDE hard drive. Uh, I just don't have any. I have an IDE CD-ROM drive. That won't work. And my 9X machine does have an IDE DVD drive. Thing is, uh, it's a slot loader. And also, I really hate taking that thing apart, so. Actually, honestly, I know almost nothing about taking that thing apart and repairing it, so um, I think I'm taking apart the Windows 98 PC. Cause that drive, I know works. We just won't have the Xbox badge and this thing's just gonna be wide open while I install React OS. Okay, so I need to put this in a different place that isn't here. There aren't many places around here that aren't here unfortunately. And the places that aren't here, I don't really want to put this on. Cause like this thing's got buttons.
I can bring this thing back from the place that isn't here. Plug this thing in. Realize, oh shit, this thing uses a different set of connectors. I gotta pull out a power supply from an old Dell computer. Who thought small form factor computers were a good idea? Can't get the thing off. I can't get the power supply out because the opening's too small and it is so dusty. Dust everywhere because this computer is older than I am. It's actually about as old as this Xbox. Oh, that is, oh my god. So like, you know how old Dell computers have this like fan thing? Uh, that like, like the big green fan thing? <laughs> uh, mine doesn't anymore. Oh! I literally only needed this thing for its Molex. All this dust for one connector. And now, that's all I can do for today until I get the hard drive formatted. Goodbye. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for custom parts for your next project. They offer incredibly high quality and affordable PCB prototyping, 3D printing, CNC machining, and more. And if you're wanting to build something but don't have any ideas, PCBWay has a large library of user-made designs that you can buy straight from their website. They even have live customer support if you ever need help placing an order. I've used PCBWay for a project in the past and I can personally say that their quality is simply incredible. If any of this sounds interesting to you, go to PCBWay.com or use the link in the description to get $5 off your first purchase. Now back to the video. Okay, so I got a bit distracted for a few days working on a different video. Uh, if you want a sneak peek, that's the sneak peek. Anyway, uh, I've got this hard drive here. It is now properly formatted and I have everything that I need on it. So I should just be able to, if I don't hit it on the disk drive, I should just be able to put it in. Okay, here's the screw bucket. That's also, you know, the hard drive casing that I kind of need. So I just gotta take all the screws out. I'm not going to be able to have this thing fully assembled anyway, because, you know, that thing. We can just, like, and nobody will notice. Sure, it's gained, like, double the height. No one's going to notice. And thus, the setup gets jankier. Okay. Cool. The Xbox still turns on. <laughs> there is nothing in the open Xenium menu, which is, uh, not worrying at all. Okay, now we're- now we're back. Okay. Launch menu. Give me a new item from Flash. Nice Flash, man. It's just locked up now. Man, okay then. What if I just, you know... Oh, okay, it's trying to boot Serbios. Oh my god! Why did that scare me so much? All right, okay, cool, okay. Um, okay, I wanna test the disk drive, so one second. Aha! Oh, shoot. There's already a disk in the drive. And the disk drive very much isn't opening. Okay, let's <laughs> take this off. All right, why is the disk drive not working? It's got Molex power. I see it back there. It's got like some extra connectors back there, but I don't think I have those and I don't think they're necessary. I know I have a IDE CD drive somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. Apparently, according to it, the DVD is open. Power supply isn't spinning up, which is probably a bad sign, but I, there's no like switch on it. I have some like old VCRs that also have a DVD, you know, player in it. I wonder if those are IDE. I wonder if I can just yoink that, <laughs> which I really hope it's not the power supply because I don't have any other power supplies unless I really wanted to bring the 98 computer over here just to use as a power supply, which I could do, but I really don't want to. I might have to do that, uh... Alright, so here is the current state of things. Uh, it's kind of being covered up by the light pole. But, here's the 98 PC. There's the disk drive. There's the Molex cable. Now the Xbox is hanging off the ledge. But, it has not fallen off. Neither, neither thing has fallen off. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. It says it's open, but clearly not. If I turn on the 98 PC, I hear this spinning. Oh shoot, we got a light. Okay, okay. Um, it's probably gonna start beeping at me very soon. Yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, all right. It is a uh, Japanese copy of MP3 jukebox. I forgot about that. <laughs> but what if I take this? It still thinks the DVD drive is open, which is uh a lie and it still won't let me launch the dvd i don't even think it knows that there's a disc in the drive
just to there's multiple ways you can do this and like they're all because uh, like you see this Cromwell here that's the BIOS you're supposed to you know boot if you want to run this off a hard drive but apparently the hard drive build isn't really working so that's why I've been trying to run it off a CD this entire time because that you can just use the executable version of the BIOS through SirBIOS I don't know, man. I'm just gonna try it through Serbios first, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try Cromwell. And, uh... Why is it down here? <laughs> yeah, just load this. Okay. It... is doing something. Okay. Boot from CD. I swear to fucking god. OH MY GOD! What the f What the hell? What the hell? It's running off the CD drive. What the hell? It That could have worked with the slot loading drive. I spent so long trying to get this to work without the slot... With the, oh, what the hell? I don't even have a keyboard and mouse plugged in, because that's something you need to have plugged in. What the hell? I spent so long on that damn disk drive, and I'm pretty sure it would have worked if I just used the slot loading disk drive. And this is going through the SATA! This is going through the side of the IDE! What the hell? Okay, let me grab my, you know, Xbox controller to USB adapters. So if I unplug my controller, plug in the adapter, plug in a mouse, the mouse is getting power, can I move the mouse? No, I cannot. I mean, it is still installing devices, so I guess I'll give it a second. I don't think there's a way to even get files onto this thing. Can this thing access the hard drive? If it can, I could run some funny stuff on here, or at least attempt to. I still can't move the mouse. But we're at the desktop. Oh, it's trying to do some stuff. Waiting for five, four, press any key to continue. I can't. I'm plugging in a keyboard right now. I'm, I'm trying. Give me a second. I mean, technically you have given me several seconds. I just can't plug in a keyboard fast enough. Oh, jeez. It's opening so much stuff. I have Reacto. It's, it's, I mean, it's here. Reacto S is running. Uh, I just can't really do anything because neither of my USB peripherals are working. I'm gonna shut off the Xbox. Okay, I need to test something. For my own sanity, would it have worked if I ran it straight off the hard drive? If this works, I am so sorry for wasting your time. Okay, it doesn't even boot. Okay, cool. Okay, I go to applications. Does this work on the dashboard? Oh my god, it does. So that means it is detecting my USB peripherals. There's a mouse! <laughs> Cromwell. Cromwell. X, X Rom, Zromwell. Start USB initialization. So yeah, there, there it is. It got farther faster last time. Why aren't you working anymore? Something tells me I need to restart the Xbox again. Okay. I want to boot off the CD-ROM. I, I said the CD-ROM. Don't, don't tell me I need to press A on the controller to... Okay, there we go. And we're booting into Reactor OS again. Cool. And I want to boot... I can't use the arrows. Okay. <laughs> don't tell me everything works with USB except for React OS. Yeah, I still can't move the mouse. And I can't press any key to continue, so, uh... I literally can't do anything. It literally says USB controller right there. Why? Why not? Why? 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 Why no? Why? 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 Why no mouse? Okay, and then it just shuts down. <laughs> okay, so the React OS experience on Xbox. It takes like five minutes to boot. It opens a bunch of stuff. You can't control it at all because the mouse and keyboard don't work. And then after a few seconds, it shuts itself down and the Xbox shits itself. So you might be wondering where I've been the entire month. I don't know what happened. I mean, I was planning on slowing down on videos, you know, a bit to, you know, have more time to flesh them out a little bit, be able to pull off bigger ideas, have more time to plan, and also because I had, like, no time at all. But yeah, no, I didn't want to take an entire month to make a video. Next video won't take nearly as long. It's pretty much finished. I just need to edit it. It'll be out soon.